The House Committee on Ports and Arbors directed terminal operators and Nigeria Port Authority agents to submit all concessions, agreement, development plans and other relevant documents to the Nigeria Port Authority. Now, the committee uh, chairman, the Honorable Nolimi Naji, emphasized that the importance of efficiency and effectiveness in achieving goals. Now, the Council for the Registration of Freight uh, uh, Forwarders of Nigeria suggested uh, adopting an electronic payment model to minimize human interaction. 13 operators expressed commitment to collaborating with the committee. Uh, what we would like you to furnish us because we are aware that some of you people, your concession agreement is still on. Some, are, some have been renewing it their own. Some have, there are a lot of issues. So we, we want to have um, on the concession agreement, we want to have a copy of your, have you collected it? Want to have your copies of your concession agreements? Huh? I also want to know if you are, the concession agreements have been renewed, expired, and renewed. Because I'm aware that some have been expired, and the process of renewal. So I want to know how it was renewed whether the, the relevant uh, government agencies that approve the renewal. Terminal operators, their model is what we are asking for. If other terminal operators can adopt such models, and only two terminals operators are doing that now, the PTML, which is in Lagos, and the PTOL, which is in Port Harcourt. So what we are asking, with the, their model a voice, there is no human interface at all. So it doesn't give room for leakages and shortfalls. So we are requesting, and most of our stakeholders are here, if they can adopt that model, like every other one, uh, Five Star, Five Star, GDL, Bua, and the rest of them, many of them, if they go by that PTML model, I think our revenue will be much enhanced than now.